time news coming to you from the tangled grid that's right hey we got a good, pretty good show for you today we're gonna go over and look at this uh devicon uh sim over here called uh what is that uh ways meat meat ways meat ways yeah meat ways and uh then we'll discuss uh performers that uh have been told hey you want to know what you guys are uh you guys are a ripoff you know what you You've been told, you know, look, you can't do what you're doing and just say, oh, it just goes in a stream and comes out the other end. So we'll take a look at the uh, people that are backing these guys and giving them their money. Yeah, giving them their money. Uh, hey, you know what? Your money. Do what you want to do. We'll take a look at that. And then uh, we got a little bit of news today. We got something about the NVIDIA cards, the 970 that came out uh, that a while back and some of the spec problems with it. And, do a little bit of the G spot. So, uh, hey, let's uh, get on over and take a look at this uh, really cool sim uh, <laughs> in Devokian Grid. All right, is that Devacon? Devacon Grid, whatever. Hey, let's go take a look at it. Dropping down into the metaverse, we find ourselves in Devacon early this morning. Flying across the hills, past the homes, the ships, ways meet, on the grid of Devacon. Off in the distance, we see the homes and the dwellings. The ships that are just in that have been out bringing in the fish. What a wonderful build. As we come in past the waterfalls. Nestled up in the tall trees. The homes to many avatars that come this way. was a real pretty sim over there and uh i guess the uh the tour they're gonna do that that kitely tour thing that uh virtual does out of there goes over there and we're gonna take a look at uh i dropped over there to uh the island today and uh show you that uh there's going to be on february 3rd this matthew guy that sings with his goat whatever the goat tour and uh he uh, came in with uh, another guy to sing with him. They said they were in two different locations. Well, fine, they could be in two different locations. They said they were streaming together. But And so uh, when uh, Matthew left and Mike was there, whatever, Mike, I talked to him, and he, he was telling me, yeah, I do the final stream. I send it all out. And I said, oh, okay, well, how do you do that? Oh, it just goes in a mixer and comes out. I says, no, no, how do you bring the two streams together? 
what server program you're using. So uh, th that brought up a long discussion where he refused to answer any more questions, and because uh, he didn't, you know, he he didn't know how to explain it because it, that's not how it works, you know. Because the thing is, is I've worked on stuff like this, and it's uh, yeah, it's real simple if you want to do it, but it takes more than two people, and it's going to be some of it's going to be pre-recorded per song as it goes out uh, and then it's then it's done by a producer and then you the guy that produces and mixes it on the fly puts it together so uh, you know the problem is when you do that then you usually have at least uh, you know the two to three to four minute delay could be up to a five minute delay usually a whole song delay so you make sure it gets mixed correctly uh, and so uh, that would mean up to about six seven minutes per uh, song uh, but I don't have to worry about going to Theala, but uh, to record these guys, I've got their streams as I've been recording them for a while over on other grids. And uh, you know what? It's your money. You guys do what you want to do. But hey, let's go take a look and see where they're going to be playing this February 3rd. Coming to you live from uh, Theala here. Uh, today, it's Wednesday. And uh, I thought I'd like to let you know something that uh, there's going to be a guy sitting here named Matthew. Supposedly, last time he played here, he and another guy had another stream. So I talked to the other guy that was actually doing the streaming. And uh, you want to know what? They couldn't explain how they were taking two streams, putting them together, and then uh, having you guys listen to them. So, you know, I recorded their show, and then I went ahead and recorded their other shows. Uh, you know, the thing is this. It's not two streams being put into one and done live. All right? It's that simple. And whether it is two avatars or one guy with two avatars, I really don't care. It's his game. But the thing is, you're selling it as a live show. You know what? Uh, if you want to sell it as a game and be honest with people. But last time I was here, I saw you pull over $30 in tips and PayPal. And I saw the other avatars that were playing, that weren't playing, weren't playing tricks on people, do a pretty good job. Because I've, I've recorded their streams more than once also. And you know what? Those guys are straight up. But the thing is, is, you know what? I asked you a direct question how you did it. And I know how to do it, by the way. And I know what programs it is to do it. And the answer to uh, your thing to me was... Well, I just take the two streams and they go into a mixer and they come out the other end and it's all correct. No, it's impossible to do it that way. So you want to know what? The owner of this land, of the Isla, was told ahead of time. And uh, you want to know what? You guys can blow smoke up other people's toots, but there's a fact. If you're going to sell a live gig, sell a live gig and be honest with people. And since the owner of this club knows about it ahead of time, you're just as much part of it. Shame on you. You have my email addresses, and you guys know how to prove and what programs you're using in order, in order to do this. And trust me, it takes more than two people to do it, especially if they're both performing. So uh, go blow smoke up somebody else's too. DJ Adams, they're all in time. Coming from Theala with no voice enabled as usual. Take care. Have a great day. Well, it is time to go over and look at the G spot. So let's go check it out. And on the G spot, we start off with Slackware Linux. That's right. Nikki Kovacs over there, in France, who does uh, a enterprise version of Slackware over there for the schools and a lot of the other government and other stuff. Uh, other organizations also throughout Europe. Uh, it's a great. Absolutely rock stable setup with uh, a lot of the Alien Bob's uh, rep repositories. It's just great stuff. I, I really I've used it. I've got one of the I got one of those on on the computer here. I use quite a bit, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Zinya Frenza. Sorry for duplications. My computer was poor. Computer was dying. Oh man, I'm sorry. Hey, 
Well, she'll get it up and going. Yeah, man, she's got an eight-core machine, custom build with graphics to die for his take in your place. Oh, yeah, she's going to love that. Hey, so, you know, I've also got something really cool to say. Scobie Robinson, yeah, and the real thing. The real music, the guy that puts it out there. That's right. You know, he cranks up on that guitar. Get on over there and see him. That's right. That's Third Rock is where the music's been coming out of here lately. I'm telling you, it's just been hot over there. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy Gray, Mama is pronounced Mama Z's is a virtual performer. That's right, Mama. <laughs> Became part of the rich Second Life music scene January 2011. All righty, man. I have to get over and check that out. All righty. You know it. Mine there? Oh, boy. Mine there has got something originally shared. That's right. She's got a great block. You got to get over there and see, uh, you know, Miney's muses, musings. <laughs> Whatever. It's just great. It's great. Uh, and, uh, this uh, uh, wonderful little cool grid. Uh, what's the name of it? There, uh, Hinta, Hin, Hinator. Uh, I, I'm gonna drop over there and probably get a show to shoot on that. That's such a cool thing. I haven't been in Kitely for a long time, so uh, it's time to get back on over there and get a shoot. I think I was there today. How about that? Hey, uh, probably see that that Hinator come up there pretty quick then, huh? Hey, Chick I own. She's got her own warehouse club, man. Metaverse, baby. Check it on out. And again, hey, mine there shoots it out there for Zaphoid, that uh, destination, Transingenia. It's really a cool place. That's right. That's right. That's right. Aeros Holster. Here's two pics of the Emerge the Bridge of the Enterprise, my version of it anyway. <laughs> that's right. Hey, not only that there today, you guys don't forget, you got to get over there that, uh, that uh, Joe Builder has the the uh, racetrack open over at uh, at Lost World. That's right. So when I get done with the show, I'm heading on over there, and I'm going to get me a shoot of them cars. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> and uh, again, there the the fire uh, firestorm tool is great, great. Th that's a great video. It's it's really helpful. If y'all haven't watched it, you haven't watched it. You know, really do it. Steffi Garcia has got a lot of things to say over there. Check her out. Cool little squirrel and stuff. That's right. Hey, well, you know what? That's it for the uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, G-Spot. And it is time for the news. That's right. Let's go check out the news. NVIDIA admits to error in the GTX 970 specs memory performance problems. Unlike the one, the uh, GTX 980 that we're showing here, uh, the 970 specs... Uh, seems that the games that are using over 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM see a performance drop. And there's a reason why the GPU maker and NVIDIA responded to the claims that it's critically praised GTX 970 uses only 3.5 gigabytes of its 4 gigabytes of VRAM, resulting in performance drops, stuttering in games, and passes over the threshold. Usually those running at about 1440p and a 4K resolution. In doing so, the company has revealed that the published specifications on the GTX 970 were partially incorrect. What do you mean incorrect? They were incorrect. That meant they put it down, and somebody from one side of the team, the other team, said, hey, you know what? Sales, here's the, here's the numbers. Oh, but they didn't get it out correctly. And, and here's the fact, is that uh, games are requesting to go above 3.5 gigabytes is uh, creating a problem because... Uh, we all know that you got to have something to, in order to keep running the uh, the rest of the system. Everything can't be dedicated to one program. Uh, but uh, while the issue does not affect most games that uh, features large textures and those that uh, that uh, are ran at uh, 414p and higher resolutions, may see a drop in performance in the statement. Nvidia claims this would be around. 3% drop. Uh, it's worth noting that NVIDIA's benchmarks only looked at average FPS performance, which may not account for the frame stuttering that some other users claim to be experiencing. To be noted, uh, a change.org petition calling for refunds due to the incorrect specifications has since been launched. Those interested in more technical breakdown of the uh, GTX 970 memory subsystem performance troubles should check with the uh, full perspective story. Well, Google News here today. Google fixes the homophobic bug in the translator. <laughs> the issues appear to be isolated to translating words relating to homosexuality. 
Hey, Google Incorporated came under fire by the LBGT, lesbian, bisexual, gay, transgenders, petitions, sites at allout.org over flaws in the translator service, which led to the translation to some languages yielding homophobic slurs. Google has now fixed this issue and has apologized. <laughs> I wonder how the Russians are going to handle this when it's uh, gone over into the Russian text. Does that mean uh, when they say homosexual, it means uh, kill me, I can't drive? Who knows? But, uh, well, at least they got that fixed so far. That's right. Today, just out today, the first trailer for the Fantastic Four reboot looks almost like a shot-for-shot version of the well-known Interstellar trailer that examines mankind's thirst for knowledge and the spirit of adventure. Miles, Teller B., Michael M. B., Jordan, and Jamie Bell, and Katamura, and Toby Kibble star in the Sombre trailer. Oh, yeah. The latest reimagining of Marvel's longest-running superhero team focuses on the four young outsiders who teleport to an alternate and dangerous universe, which alters their physical form in a shocking way. Credit this to the 20th Century Fox, guys. <laughs> and that's the Zero One Time News. And we're out of there. Have a great day. Mm-hmm.